guys! Welcome to another tutorial video. I'm Saiko, if you don't already know. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Gotcha Club mini movie scene. If you don't already know, I have a video of my favorite editing app recommendations. Make sure to watch that video to find an editing software to use. What goes into a cinematic scene? A cinematic scene consists of characters, a place, an event, time, action, narration slash dialogue, and perspective. These seven are extremely important when creating a scene. If you don't have these seven, then your scene may not be at its fullest potential. I'll create a scene as I explain each. Characters are a huge factor when making anything, whether it's a movie, series, cartoon, play, or book. Characters move your story along as well as introducing it and closing it. They also keep your audience engaged with your story, forcing them to follow along with the plot due to them liking a certain character. Characters are the main focus and that's where people's eyes will look first. When creating your scene, make sure your characters are following the script by being in the right placements. You don't want them somewhere where they're not supposed to be. And lastly, show their expressions. What emotions are they supposed to express in that scene? The place is important to any story. It can determine where your characters are, where they were before, and where they're going next. Your background should make sense and should have a style that matches with the previous background you chose from a different scene. I recommend searching anime backgrounds for your movie. The Gacha Club backgrounds are a bit overused and sometimes doesn't have the exact place you want. Event. The characters need to have a reason as to why they're in that specific place. What's going on in the scene? Why are your characters here to begin with? Time. For a scene, you need to have time. What time of day is it? Is it morning, afternoon, evening, or night? It's very important for the coloring of your scene as well. Action is basically what's going on. What are your characters doing in this scene? Are they walking, talking, eating, fighting? What's happening with your characters in this scene? If you want to make the scene look even better, I recommend placing background characters. Make sure the background characters are doing something. You don't want them to just stand around. Unless they're talking, of course. Have a few characters pass by in the shot. It'll make the scene look more authentic. Also, allow your characters to have movement. Don't let your characters be stiff. You want your characters to move and act like they're an actual person. Have your characters speak in the scene. Dialogue allows the scene to be interesting, keeping your audience intrigued. Dialogue and narration is another main focus of your story. It can also cause an emotional connection between the audience and the characters slash story. When doing dialogue, I recommend having your text look like subtitles. Not too big, but not too small. Don't use bright colors for your text. The text can blend into scenes easily, making it hard to read. A darker yellow or white with a black outline is good. If you like to use different colors to separate the dialogue for each character, just make sure to use a black or dark outline around the text. And lastly, perspective. This is a big one. In a lot of gacha mini movies, I tend to see creators forget about perspective in scenes. Perspective is so important because not only does it make your movie look 10 times better, it also makes each scene easy to connect to. It makes the audience feel like they are watching the scene happen in person. When doing perspective, it's important not to shift the camera angles more than twice in a scene. This also depends on how long the scene is. If the scene is 1-2 to two minutes long, the camera only needs to shift twice. If the scene is 3-5 to five minutes long, then about 3-4 to four times. Don't shift it too much because that will throw off the viewer's focus. It also isn't pleasing to the eye. You want to give the viewer enough time to fully look at the camera angle before you switch it. There you have it! You just learned how to enhance slash create your scenes. I hope you all learned something from this video. If you'd like more tutorials from me, be sure to press that like button and comment other tutorials you'd like to see from me. Make sure to also subscribe for more content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!